Hey guys, it's me Brian from Echo News In this video, I'm going to take apart the gearbox from the ST6 series and basically take the gearbox apart, take it all apart, and put it back together and show you step by step in a slower, easy to follow guide. Sometimes I work too fast, you know, to show like something else, but hopefully this video will help you guys out. Okay, let's look on the outside. First, you have the 8mm bearing gearbox. And with the new series with the ST6 and the Troys, you do not have a need for the contacts here. So that's one cool thing. Okay, the tools I'm going to need uh, a hook in case the piston is all the way back, but it's not. Basically, if the piston's like that, you're going to have to use a hook. I don't know if you can see that. And pull in a reversal latch so the piston goes forward all the way. Okay, you're going to need a small Phillips for like the cutoff lever and the wire harness and then a Torx it's a T8 Torx and here we go I'm not gonna chop the video I guess just uh, save me time on editing and also so I can talk and you guys have to listen so let me tell you one time I was playing airsoft I had to run up the hill in the snow no I'm just joking I won't do that Okay, uh, you notice the work area, it's very messy. Um, I do that just because I can understand controlled chaos, but if you're not used to a messy table, please do not copy me. I'm a bad example for this. Um, but what I would say is get like a small dish or something like that, and you just put stuff in there. But I'm just gonna put them aside like that. Okay, to open it, um, there's no screws. Put the in there and yeah pop up and good okay let's take out this this was a uh, gun it's like an army technically let's look at the piston okay the piston already has a second tooth removed which is pretty cool and I still have beefier on the sides but okay notice how versa latch popped up all like that so now say if I didn't release the reverse latch by pulling it and the pistons all the way back like this it would shoot off and basically do that OMG okay now say this happened to you let's go ahead and figure out how to put this back together go ahead and take it off the little oh I'm using a little hook pin and I'm just gonna take off this okay since the gears kinda went everywhere I don't know what happened. Um, let's just piece it together. Okay. Here's the 8mm bearing. Nothing crazy about it. Let me just put it one there. And this little piece goes on top of the bearing. I mean, the bevel gear is on top of the bearing plate. Put it on like so. And good. Basically, for this, you have a plate, a little bearing washer, and another plate underneath. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, I have two extra bearings. Put one of them in there, and I notice on top, on top. Okay, it's nothing. So I'm gonna put it in there. Take the one off the spur here. Okay, it's on there, good. Leave that. And take the one off the sector gear. Press it in. Okay. With these, they're kind of pressed in there. You don't really need the shims. It looks like there's just one on that one right there, on the top of the the spur gear. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. So technically for this, you don't really have to worry about the shims exploding off and flying. So let me go ahead and take off the wire harness and show you guys. Worst case scenario, if you keep on going and taking this apart. Okay. The wire harness consists of sliding contact, the little spring and it slides back and forth, hence the name I give it that. There's lots of names for this, um, but like in my videos I refer to it as sliding contact because it's the simplest way to convey the message. And basically, both wires go through, connect, and this bridge the gap, and you're good to go. Okay, and what holds it into the gearbox is a small Phillips screw that goes in here. 
and the cutoff lever is right here. Don't have to take this off for the video, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it back together. Now, if you notice the wires, I really didn't like straighten them. If you do that, it's just more headache. I have other videos explaining like how to do this, but like say if you're going to change your gears and you take this out, just put it aside. You don't need to straighten the wires because if you do, it's going to be harder. Because look, now I put this in, press it in like so. And good. I don't need to like rework the wires. It saves me time and I'll save you guys time as well. So let me go ahead and put this back in. Uh, put the little sign contact in there. And you're going to notice you have the screw hole here and here for the screw. And then you have a little peg here and the hole here. So basically, line it up. It'll be flat. Okay, good. Get the said little screw. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to use a little hook pin. And line up. Oh, and on a side note, sometimes you guys say have like the Echo One tool, and I like them. I use them on my own personal gear. Um, but say happens if you borrow or let a friend borrow it and they break it and it's like sheared off. Oh no, it's not the end of the world. Look at it. Um, I've turned into like a punch pin, so now technically I have a large punch pin, which works great for here, and then also I can use this for like uh, the front sight uh, posts and stuff like that. So don't throw it away, you can still use them, and as you can see, use it every day. Side note. Okay, and here's your nemesis. It's the reversal latch. Oh, okay. Let me put the parts back in. Okay. Here we go. Now to check the shimming or the gears, make sure they're smooth and everything. What I'm gonna do is just have the three gears, reversal latch out, the trigger out because it's there, the piston and spring. So it's just basically the gears. I'm just gonna check the gears. That so fell out. Okay, no worries. Every Pop that in. Basically, this is 100% stock. And what I'm going to do is just put in three screws. So what I'm going to do is basically tighten down the gearbox shell. And make this a beautiful, beautiful gearbox. Here we go. And you can spin it, as you can see, in here. They keep on spinning, like spinners, little three six, little flipper. Okay, good. So since there's no real extra shims per se, that's good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say good job. Here we go. Let me put it back together. Okay. Now for the reversal latch, a lot of you guys are saying, how do you do that in the videos? And does it doesn't make sense. Okay. So far, I've not altered the spring or anything. It's straight from the gun. You notice? Okay. What I'm going to do is basically pull it back, press on, pull like so, put in the bevel gear, and let go. Okay. Now, I didn't jump out or anything, so I, I kind of watch it, and you can kind of tell if it's going to jump out. It's like if you bump it. Okay, see? It's not going anywhere. I don't know why. So I'm going to do a little trick I do is I bend this just a little, like watch before, after. I do that. I don't remember exactly why. i just done it for forever now. That's what I do. Okay. See that? Popped out. Don't worry. Don't panic. You can either put it back in and hope that it doesn't move out of place and then put this in okay it'll probably fall out don't worry it'll, it'll just fall out okay i'm just going to stretch the o-ring just a smidge pop it in and now good seal okay have a plate spring goes on here and basically 
like so. Make sure it has room for the sliding contact. See how it goes around it. And then also get the spring or type of plate and hook it, like so. If you did not attach a spring, a lot of you guys will say on the Facebook, like, hey, put my gun together, I follow your videos, um, it's not shooting BBs, or they're shooting like maybe 5, 10 feet, like say if you put your gearbox back together and it shoots like 5, 10 feet or so, basically this is floating here and you have the air kind of bridging the gap but not really pushing the BB into the hop-up, and it's just kind of like, Psh! because it's not loading correctly. If you don't have this working correctly, it's just going to sit here or whatever and it's not going to load the BB and fire it with the air. So make sure, I always say spring, 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 and spring. Okay, here we go. Then I put it back together. Okay, so far it hasn't jumped out. Well, after I moved it around and everything. So let me go ahead and try. Here we go. And if it does, I'll show you what I do. Okay, uh, simple trick. I have an orientation like this, left hand, right hand, um, you guys are watching, and basically my fingers, I hold on to the cylinder like so, kind of at an angle on the front, hold down on the cylinder because if I push, it'll bow up, so press on the cylinder, press the spring in with the spring guide, and basically like that. If I let go, it's going to pop up. Wow, that's a good playlist. This is a good video. Thanks, you guys. Okay, so now, you know, I can like juggle if I wanted to. But I'm gonna go ahead and close it. And good. Press done. Now, if you do it right, you're gonna notice you have nice and flush up here. Like you can rub your fingers off. You don't have like a weird bump from the cylinder. You have flush, 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 flush. Make sure this is here. If this isn't, off, if it's like uh, like an like an eclipse, per se, like if the axle is like on the side or something like that, it's not going to go together. You notice there's no big gaps. So we'll press it, but that's fine. Um, another check is with a tool, press like that. It goes back freely. Also, pay special attention to the little slots right here on the piston. If you look at an angle, you will see how it's basically going in the middle or if you press back you'll see the little groove right here make sure before you fire this gun make sure it's all lined up if not if the pistons at a weird angle or something like that you will break the teeth or wear it down or you put it all back in the gun you shoot it and it doesn't work and you'll be frustrated so simple step before you even close it just look okay now this really didn't help because it didn't like the reverse latch didn't jump out, so let me go ahead and do it and show you guys. Okay, open it up. Now, reverse latch. There's a little bit of grease here and there. What you can do is I use like a generic lithium grease. You can stick it on there and it kind of hold the axle in place so it doesn't jump up. It doesn't prevent it from twisting. It just basically from jumping up like you saw earlier. Another way is, see how it's basically perpendicular from the axle? You can bend up just a little like that don't press hard just a little and that kind of holds it in place as well I haven't done any scientific studies on why but eh, go with it and pop it in it basically press up against the gearbox shell a little better okay now also, you notice how the sector gear is popping up a little because the type of plate is pulling out a little. That's fine, as long as it's manageable. Okay, it's good. Let me go ahead and close this. Okay, good again. Yep, good. Um, let me go ahead and close this. And I think that'll be good to go. Hopefully this video is very helpful and kind of makes sense and show that the gearbox, it can be your friend, but it also can be your enemy. But once you understand how to take it apart and put it back together, it's not that scary or a headache. 
I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, I don't like working on guns because they're stupid and they break, and it's a it's a day long process. But it's kind of like it's once you understand it and have patience. You guys need patience. Then it's okay. So hopefully with these videos, if you watch other videos, uh, also make sure you subscribe. Please subscribe to the videos. You know, I'm not making money off this. You know, I don't have ads. I hate those, the YouTube ads. So be thankful. You know, I just want to help you guys. So hope you guys understand. And yeah, this has been Brian from Echo and You saying with the M4 gearbox takedown and assemble. Thanks for watching.